Secret Hitler is a hidden identity game that takes place in pre-World War II Germany. At the beginning of the game, players are divided into two teams. Most players will be liberals. Their goal is to hold the government together and prevent Hitler from taking power. But some players will be fascists. Their goal is to take over the government and install secret Hitler as chancellor. After roles have been dealt, there will be a brief night phase for the fascists to reveal themselves to each other and find out who Hitler is. But Hitler won't know the identities of the other fascists. After the night phase, select a player at random to be the first president. In Secret Hitler, teams race to complete their agenda before the other team. Fascists need to enact six fascist policies to complete their agenda and win the game, and liberals need to enact five liberal policies. Each round, the table will elect a president and a chancellor together as a ticket. First, the president nominates another player to be chancellor. The whole table then votes on this new proposed government. If the vote fails, the president loses the opportunity to be elected and the presidential placard moves clockwise. If a government is successfully elected, the president and chancellor must enact a new policy card. Policy cards are either liberal or fascist, and they come from a deck that has 11 fascist policies and six liberal policies. In order to enact a new policy, the president draws three policies from the policy deck, looks at them in secret, discards one face down, and passes the other two to the chancellor. The chancellor also discards one face down and enacts the remaining policy card face up. If the government enacts a liberal card, the liberals are one step closer to holding the government together. However, if the president and chancellor enact a fascist card, you must try to figure out what went wrong. Perhaps the president and the chancellor are liberals and they received a bad draw. Or perhaps a fascist infiltrated the government and discarded a liberal policy in secret. Players are free to lie about almost anything in the game, so the president and the chancellor can't be trusted. Sometimes the chancellor and president won't even agree about what they've seen. It's up to the other players to find out which one is telling the truth and which one is a cold-blooded fascist. When a new fascist policy is passed, the government becomes more powerful. Even the liberals will be tempted to pass fascist policies so that they will be able to investigate players' party memberships, meddle with elections, and execute other players. If a liberal player is able to gain an execution power and assassinate Hitler, the liberals immediately win the game. However, if you miss your shot and kill too many liberals, the voting majority will swing to the fascists. The clock is ticking. Can you find your allies and forge the bonds of trust necessary to stem the rising tide of fascism? Can you steer the government along the narrow path, taking only as much power as you need and pull back from the brink of war? Can you find and stop the secret Hitler?